Hi guys, so for this video I'm going to use German yarn that I bought in one of these German stores. The yarn is in this brand and it's 100% acrylic. Here some is used knitted needles or crochet hook in size 3 to 3.5 millimeters. I'm using crochet hook in size 3 millimeters. So I'm going to start by making a slip knot. And then I will chain multiples of four plus one. So I just chained twenty one. And now wrap the yarn around my hook and I'm inserting my hook right here through this second chain. Wrap the yarn around the hook and pull through. Now I have three loops on my hook. I'll wrap the yarn around the hook, pull through two loops, and now I'm left with two loops on the hook. Now I'll wrap the yarn around my hook into the next chain. I'll insert my hook, wrap the yarn around the hook and pull through. I have uh, four loops now, so I'll wrap the yarn around my hook and pull through two. Now I have three loops on my hook. I'll wrap the yarn around my hook, I'll insert my hook into the next loop or into the next chain, wrap the yarn around the hook and pull through. And I'll have uh, five loops on my hook, so I'll wrap the yarn around my hook and pull through two. So now that I have uh, four loops on my hook, I'll wrap the yarn around my hook and pull through four. And then I would chain three. I'll wrap the yarn around my hook. Then I insert my hook right here through these four loops. The yarn is super thin. I'll wrap the yarn around my hook and pull through these four loops. Now I'm left with three loops on my hook. I'll wrap the yarn around my hook, pull through two, wrap the yarn around the hook and pull through two. So now it looks like we have two double crochets, one double crochet and one three chain space. Now again I'll wrap the yarn around my hook and through these four loops I'll make one double crochet. Now that I have three double crochets, I'm going to make one more. So right there through these four loops, I'll make one last double crochet. See? I'm not sure how this uh, pattern is called. I am going to call it a bow pattern because it looks kind of like a small bow. See? I think it looks very cute. And now I'll wrap the yarn around my hook three times. Then I'll insert my hook into the next chain, wrap the yarn around my hook and I'll pull through. Then I'll wrap the yarn around my hook, pull through two. I'll wrap the yarn around my hook and I'll insert my hook into the next chain, wrap the yarn around my hook, pull through. Wrap the yarn around my hook, pull through two. Wrap the yarn around my hook. Now, then I'll insert my hook into the next chain. I'll wrap the yarn around on my hook, pull through. I'll wrap the yarn around my hook and pull through two. Then I'll wrap the yarn around my hook and I'll insert my hook into the next chain. Wrap the yarn around my hook, pull through. Then I'll wrap the yarn around my hook, pull through two. So now that I have sand loops into my hook, I'll wrap the yarn around my hook and I'll pull through five of these loops and I'll be left with three loops onto my hook and now in these three remaining loops I'll make one double crochet just like you would have made a normal double crochet that's our first double crochet now through these four loops I will make uh, three double crochets this pattern kind of looks complicated but as soon as you get hang of it it's super easy and it looks very pretty. 
I'm planning to make a lot of things using this pattern and usually that doesn't happen but this pattern looks so pretty so you know again I'll wrap the yarn on my hook three times and through these next four chains I'll make four do half double crochet cluster one two three and four Now that I have seven loops into my hook, I'll wrap the yarn around my hook and I'll pull through five of these loops. Now that I have three loops into my hook, I'll make a double crochet. Now in these four loops right here, I'll make three double crochets. So one, two, and three and now we have four double crochets in total and now that I have uh, four chains left I'll wrap the yarn around my hook three times then in the next four chains I'll make four half double crochet clusters Now that I have seven loops into my hook, I'll wrap the yarn around my hook and I'll pull through five of these loops. Now I have three loops into my hook and I'll make a double crochet. Now in these four loops right here, I'll make three double crochets. This completes the first row. Now for row two, I'll chain one. Then I'll make one single crochet in each chain throughout row two. Now this completes row 2. Now for row 3, we'll turn our work around. So we repeat row 1. So I'll start by chaining 3. And in the next 3 chains, I'll make 3 half double crochet cluster. Now I'll chain three. I'll wrap the yarn on my hook and right here through these four loops I'll make three double crochet. Now I'll wrap the yarn around my hook three times and through these next four chains I'll make four half double crochet clusters.
Now that I have seven loops into my hook, I'll wrap the yarn around my hook and pull through five of these loops. I have three loops into my hook, so I'll just make a double crochet. Now through these loops right here, through these four loops, I'll make three double crochets. So basically, we'll be repeating this throughout this row. And this completes row 3. Now for row 4, I'll chain 1, and I'll turn my work around. Now I'll repeat row 2. So in each chain, I'll make one single crochet. And this completes row 4. So now for the pattern, we need to repeat rows 1 and 2. And after a few rows, our work will look like this. So that is all for today, guys, and thank you so much for watching.